All right, Coach, so you've had a couple days to now get to see your team a little bit. Um, you scrimmaged a little bit the last couple days. How's that gone? Uh, it's going really good. Uh, we scrimmage after, every afternoon practice, and uh, it's getting better so far every day. I think uh, girls are really challenging themselves, challenging each other, and we see improvement from last year, like in almost every aspect. Uh, we have nine hitters on the team. So we have a competition going on for that spot. We have every other spot uh, covered. So, so far scrimmages six and six were, were doing good with uh, you know, people really pushing hard. And then um, you talk about the squad size, you know, that has to help in practice. How has practice been going now with the 16 person roster? Uh, it gives us more options, and, and here, in, you know, in Riley, we have two courts, so we're splitting uh, people uh, in, with, you know, two groups doing kind of individual stuff within the full team practice. Uh, so that's a really good good thing to have, and then uh, just options when we play. That's what we're working on now. What what kind of options we have offensively? Uh, some hitters can play multiple positions, so we're trying to figure that out and kind of eliminate some some things uh, until the our um, scrimmage on Saturday so so it's going well we're, we're pleased and then uh, yesterday we did our preview on the setters how nice is it to have three setters coming back all that have experience on the court from last year uh, it's really good I think all three of them came in in shape and, and ready to go which again gives us options uh, we're leaning, leaning to play a 6-2 system again using two setters which we need a third one you know in case of injuries or just for competition uh, so I think it's necessary right now to have three setters and uh, and we'll see how it goes which two will play and then we asked the setters yesterday, the last question we asked them was what their teammates can do to make their lives easier. From a coaching standpoint, what can the team do to help the setter the most? Well, it's all passing. It's all the first contact. You know, setter's, setter's job is easy enough if you have passing. If you don't have passing where it's supposed to be, then the whole game changes because passing dictates the quality of, of your offense. So that's, uh, that's, that's what they can do for their setters. All right, thanks, Coach.